Welcome back to In the Garden. Joining me today is Craig from Grange Co-op, and today we're gonna to be talking about some strawberries. Now, these are one of my favorite fruits. I'm pretty excited to learn how to plant them. You know, just a little bit about strawberries. Perfect time, is this the right time to start, start putting those in your garden? Yeah, this really is the time. Strawberries are, are a perennial favorite. Everybody wants strawberries. Really easy to grow. Um, and, and quite a few different kinds. They come in different sizes, um, different, some are sweeter than others. The big thing you want to look for when you come in one of our stores is there's going to be two kind of primary groups that strawberries come in. There's what's called June bearing. Okay. And those bear all their fruit in a very small amount of time. So like a lot of commercial crops um, would grow a June bearing kind because they want to go out and harvest them all at once. Then there's what's called ever bearing. Um, and then a subset of that is called day neutral. So if you see either the, if you see day neutral or ever bearing on a tag, you're going to see a, a similar thing where they're going to bear a crop and then they're going to continue to produce throughout the season. So you don't get it all at once, but you'll get a steady, a steady flow of strawberries. And then what does maintenance look like for strawberries? You know, watering them, you know, I don't, I'm not too sure if you, you know, you could overwater them, I'm sure, but what does that look like? You know, sunlight, yeah, you're going to want them in. You're going to want them in um, a good amount of sun. So either I would want them in either full sun or or mostly sun. Um, best water with a, a drip system so that. Um, It'd be ideal if you weren't getting all the moisture on the leaves while they're growing, but if you're getting that actually at the root zone. So if you can put in a drip system, that's going to be ideal for them. Awesome. And then how do we plant them? Yeah, so they're going to come. Uh, most of them are, that you're going to see in a store are going to come in a six pack or a four inch. Earlier in the season, you can also get them bare root, but it's really easy. So simple. You're going to get a six pack like this. They're gonna come, you're just gonna pop these little guys out. You wanna make sure that you're doing that flush with the soil level. So you just wanna get your soil around it, pat it down so that it's right at that flush level. So what I'd be doing with strawberries, you can do them a few different ways, um, but what I would do would be to put them just a few inches apart. You can do them um, in field rows where you're doing um, kind of quite a few planted together and do them in rows. They're gonna naturally fill in. They do send out little runners. So they will fill in the bed a little bit so you don't have to put them terribly close, but not a whole lot to them. Really, really easy care plant. Um, make sure you're putting in some fertilizer with them when you plant them and you'll be set. Awesome, sweet. Well, thank you, Craig, for showing me how to plant some strawberries and outside of buying them freshly picked, you could plant them yourselves. And if you want to get a plant, you can go ahead and go to Grange Co-op. And you can also ask questions to an expert like Craig himself or go to our website at kdrv.com.